Item number SCP-5353 Index Customer Satisfaction Survey Object Class Keta Safe Euclid Special Containment Procedures Instances of SCP-5353 discovered on the internet at large are to be neutralized by DDoS attack on the parent hosting server are believed to no longer exist on the internet at large as of 02 2014 A single instance of SCP-5353 is to be contained on one, one removable electronic media device with all network access permanently disabled, which must be kept inside a secured box at Site 15 when not being used for testing purposes. Removal of this device from Site 15 is permitted for testing purposes by Class 3 personnel approval. To test this device must be logged with a 5353-R-2 form signed by the Site Director. Description SCP-5353 is a software program that presents itself as a customer feedback management CFM software. It does not identify any specific company. But it is believed that the products and services mentioned in SCP-5353 are publicly available, though none specifically have been recovered. The anomalous nature of said products and services is unknown. Research is ongoing. When a user attempts to fill out the form, it will dynamically change. The questions asked are often relevant to the survey taker and result in distress to the user. SCP-5353 is not believed to be sentient. In some cases, users who interact with the form suffer physical injury or death. Upon the form's completion or the death of the user, SCP-5353 self-replicates and transmits itself to additional victims via the internet or internal network if possible. Access update log. Date 06-15-2011. Update, SCP-5353 detected and designated. Classified, Keta. A copy has been stored on mobile media. Instances online are still at large. Authorization, Dr. A. Brown, research. Date, 10-11-2012. Update, SCP-5353 predicts or influences the death of a male civilian, age 66, who died prior to completing the form. Authorization, T. Cameron, Web Response Team, Foundation Technical Support. Date, 03-29-2013. Update, SCP-5353 traced to multiple cloud locations. Researchers are testing various malicious programs against it. Authorization, T. Cameron. Date, 05-07-2013. Update, SCP-5353 attempts to convince software executive at Yahoo, but is intercepted by Foundation operatives. Authorization, T. Cameron. Date, 06-31-2013. Update, Foundation approves use of pseudo-anomalous malicious code, Project 5353-Pi-C, to neutralize outside instances of SCP-5353 after success in testing. Authorization, T. Cameron. Date, 02-20-2014. Update, all instances of SCP-5353 appear to be neutralized. 5353-Pi-C deactivated. Reclassifying SCP-5353 to safe. Authorization, T. Cameron. Date, 0501 Update, SCP-5353 was taken off-site for testing by Dr. Galenhauer. Later found to have been influenced by SCP-5353 and convinced to help it. Dr. Galenhauer expressed sincere remorse after inception. It is unclear whether the influence was anomalous in nature, or a mundane appeal to Psyche by an anomalous source. Authorization, Dr. A. Brown. Date. 06-21-2016 Update It is confirmed that two instances of SCP-5353 were released upon containment breach. Both have been neutralized. Authorization T. Cameron Date 05-03-2016 Update After previous update, SCP-5353 reclassified to Euclid. Authorization T. Cameron don't let it get to you. 
people. It feeds on your insecurities and fears. Gee, you can run. Run program SCP-5353. Authorization required. Please insert media. SCP-5353 detected in removable media. Opening.